Uh, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you my own short version arrangement of Canon in D by Packle Bell. So there's no official piano arrangement of this because it's written for three strings and a continuo, and there are obviously numerous different arrangements of it. So this is my own arrangement. It's a shorter condensed version because it's the original version is pretty repetitive. I've not tried to make it too tricky. I would say it's suitable for intermediate. I'm going to use the sheet music and if you want to access the sheet music, I've left a link where you can purchase that down below. So here is middle C. If you look at that pitch on your keyboard or piano, the lowest note we'll need is this D and the highest note we'll need is this B. And of course it's called Canon in D because it's in the key of D major. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of D major. So the good thing about this is that it's the same chord progression all the way through. So D major, A major, B minor, F sharp minor, G major, D major, G major, A major. That repeats all the way through. As I usually teach with sheet music, right hand first, then the left hand, and then I'll show you it hands together, all slowly, of course. So look at the right hand. So the first chord is a D major first inversion, so it's F sharp, A, D. And then we have second inversion of A major, E, A, C sharp. Then we have first inversion of B minor, so D, F sharp, B. Then we have second inversion of F sharp minor, which is C sharp, F sharp, and A. First inversion of G major, which is G, which is B, D, and G. Second inversion of D major, A, D, F. And then we have, uh, I guess, a G major add six. And then an A major, so it's just, just going to play A and C sharp. So do that again. So try and copy the fingers that I'm doing, or use ones you feel more comfortable with, but make sure you use the same fingers each time. So the left hand to that part goes thumb on D, A, B, F sharp, G, D, G, A. So you're playing the root notes of the chord progression. So I'll just play those first two bars together. bars of this line, so the right hand, play A and F sharp, A major, so A, C sharp, E, F sharp and D, A and C sharp, G major, so D, G, B, D major root position, D, F sharp and A, G and B, and then E and C sharp. So do those two again. And the left hand to that is starting to play quavers, so eighth notes. So we have D, F sharp, A, G, F sharp, D, F sharp, under to E, D, B, D, A, G,
this. Okay, so the next line is just one bar, but we're gonna do the next two bars. So if you can hear the rain. So the right hand's gonna play F sharp, D and F sharp. If you can't stretch these octaves, you're just gonna have to play the right hand of the previous bar. E, C sharp, E. D, B, D. C sharp, A, C sharp, B, D, B, D, F sharp, A, D, G, B, C sharp, E, C sharp. I'll just do that again. with that we're going to break up the triad chords so we have d major first obviously so d f sharp a d and then move down to a c sharp e a b d f sharp b f sharp together now. So we're playing semi quavers so it's a bit quicker. Okay, so the next part, so again the next two bars. So the right hand goes off and plays Again, the semiquaver is this continuous melody. So it's going D, F sharp, D, D, C sharp, A, E, F sharp, D, D, C sharp, thumb on B, two on C sharp, F sharp, A, B. I'll just do that bar again. And then carrying on, so next bar, same section I guess, so we've got G, F sharp, E, G, F sharp, E, D, over to 4 to C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, hand 
Again, I'm playing the same chord, so we've got D major, D of sharp A, A5, so A, E, A. If you can't stretch the octave, just miss the top one out. B, D, B. F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. G, B, G. put that section together now so it's two bars So next two bars, it does something similar. So the left hand's gonna do the exact same thing. So that saves time. So the right hand goes D, E, F sharp, G, A, E, A, G, F sharp, B, A, G, Do this again. And then carry on to the next bar. You're going to cross over to D and then B. Hop up an octave with your three. C sharp, D, C sharp. B, A, G, F sharp, E, B, A, B, A, G. So let's do that bar again. that section together now. And then it's into the So the left hand is, I've kept it the same as what we've just done, so it's just looking at this this bit here. So we have little finger on A, and then F sharp G A, F sharp G A, down to this A, B, C sharp under, D, E, F sharp G, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, hop down to 2 on F sharp, G, A, B, A, G, A, F sharp, G, A. So do that again. Carrying on to the next bar, so we have G, B, A, G, F sharp, E, third finger on F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, under to G, A, B, and then G, B, A, B. C sharp, D, thumb on A, and then just scale up to A. 
So do that bar again. So I'm gonna put that section together now with the left hand. got options so you can literally just play that again the second time um, but I've added just a couple of extra notes here and there in the right hand so we're going then we're playing in thirds D F sharp E G F sharp and A and then this bit and then thirds here so D so B and D C sharp and E D and F sharp, F sharp, it's, it's the same, and then we have G and B, F sharp and A, E and G, and then we have A and C sharp, D and B, again with the left hand I'm just replaying the root note after each chord. So you can do it if you want to, we can leave that out. So I'm going D, A, B, F sharp, G, D, G, A. So that would fit together like this. two bars. So we have D and F sharp and then F sharp, C sharp and F sharp, G, F sharp, E, then D and B and D, D, F, A and D, E, D, C sharp, and then G and B, B, F sharp and A, A, G and D, C natural, B, C, then E and A. So I'll just do that again. Hand with that, we're again breaking up the chords. So we've got D major, so D, F sharp, A, A, C sharp, E, B, D, F sharp, so it's F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, G, B, D, Dad.
again. line is similar so the left hand is going to do the exact same thing as the previous line so the right hand plays F sharp and A and again and again and then B and, and then G and B F sharp and A E and G D and F sharp change to 2 and 4 again again sharp, C sharp and E, D, and then it comes up to G and B, F sharp and A, B and D, A and C natural, G and B, C by itself, and then A and C sharp. I'll just do that line again. together now. lines so we go back to this again so it's like the ending now so we've got a d f sharp a c sharp and e f sharp b d f sharp a c sharp d g b d f sharp a b d g A, C sharp and E. So I'll just do those two bars. So we got and then the left hand is going back to what we were doing at the end of the first line. together. You can split them if you want. And the last couple of bars to the right hand is just playing in thirds now. So we have D and F sharp, uh, C sharp and E. B and D, A and C sharp, G and B, F sharp and A, G and B, A and C sharp, and the end chord, F sharp and D. So I'll just do that again. Just use the 
fingers that you're most comfortable with. On the left hand, we're going to play D, A, that's tied. A, B, F sharp, that's tied. F sharp, G, D, that's tied. D, G, D, A and E. single D if you can't stretch octaves. So I'll put that last part together. So that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed, all requests are noted and considered, so I look forward to seeing you over there.